Hey guys, it's Scarlett at Build Across, and today I'm going to show you how I paint this pool floating llama. This is a paint by line. As you can see, all the lines are already etched into the cutout. First, I went in with the color Manatee Gray and base coated the llama. Now I'm using the color Flamingo to paint the majority of this Flamingo pool floaty. Now I'm going in with Peony and painting the rest of the pool floaty. This is kind of like the sides and the inner part of the pool floaty. And I'm also going to use this peony color to kind of go around um, the entirety of the flamingo to do a little bit of shading. You can see that here. And I'm just using the pink that was left over on my brush to go in and do this. And then I'm going to go in and um, wipe the majority of the paint off of this brush and just begin to blend everything together until I'm happy with the way it looks. Uh, this step is optional. You don't have to do this blending, but it really is easy and I love the way it turns out. So I wanted to show you guys that. I'm going in now with the color Dixie Veil Blue and painting his sunshades. After that, I'm going to go in with the color Peony again and I'm just painting the insides of his ears and also his nose. And I'm just using a small detail brush for this. I get a lot of questions about the brushes I use and I just like to purchase a variety pack at Walmart and choose from those. Now I'm going in with the color Florida Orange and painting the top part of his beak. And then I'm going to go in with a number zero brush and some watered down black paint. I really like the apple barrel black. And I'm beginning to do the detailing. And all of this detailing I'm doing, I'm just following the lines that are already etched into the cutout. I'm not freehanding anything. Kind of just let my brush fall into the grooves that are etched into it. Um, and you definitely want to use at least a number zero or a double zero for this. It just makes it a lot easier than using a large brush. Now I'm going in with a painter's marker and just outlining the edges. This step is optional, but I really like the way it makes it look. Kind of just brings everything together and makes it pop. And now I'm going to go in with the color uh, Hurricane Gray, and I'm just going to do a little bit of accenting. Again, this is optional, um, but I love the way it makes it look. Uh, this is my number zero brush again. Um, I just like to use a tiny brush for this accenting. And again, I just wipe that brush off and um, go in and accent with some white just to kind of brighten everything up. And after that, I am finished, you guys. I think this is super cute, especially for summertime. I hope you guys enjoyed this and have a great day.